So here are all the parts that come with the uh, Lumar spares kit. Um, I'll put a link in the description as to as to what this is called. Um, but basically this is the part that I'm interested in. So this is the part that's snapped on our boat. And you get two of these, which is really good. Um, so there's a spare one of those. And then there's also the cap, because the cap always tends to fall out. That is actually just glued in place. So we'll repair that. And then on mine, obviously someone's repaired this at some point because the seal has gone on the inside. So I think we'll take this bit off. And then what we'll do then is we will put the new bung, because it comes with one of these, basically just a bit of foam that sits in there, put that back on. And then we'll try and glue that one back in and keep this one as a spare. So we've got a few spare parts should we need them in the future. This um, is the gear linkage or the, the way that we've been putting it into neutral and forward and reverse. So this is actually attached normally with a little pin on the inside. So I took that off and it's been sat there since we went to Alderney. Um, so yeah, now we've got all the parts, we can obviously put it all back together. So that's what we're going to do. So these are identical, just double check that. There is two of everything, so there's one for the throttle, one for the gears, and then two cover plates for them. That pin that always tends to fall out, which mine just tried to escape just, so this pin here, it stops you selecting gear, basically. So when you push that in, you can then just put, put throttle on without gears. Um, and then there's, I'm not sure where, where they, they sit, they could be on the inside. These plastic pieces are the bits that sit on here, so down here, this bit. That's that bit. And then they're giving you new ones of these, but I'm not going to change any of that because there's nothing wrong with those. I'm just going to nip that all back up and then just fix it back on. This is where the um, this bracket clicks on. So without dropping it, it's probably really hard to film. That'll actually fix in there like that. So what happens with the bracket is when, when that slots into there like that, that piece of plastic stops all of this moving up and down. I mean, that's just a bit of a protective bit on there, and I'm assuming that does the same, that just sits over that there. And then that's already screwed to there, so it just pushes and pulls it when you move the lever. So what I've got to do next is I've got to fix this onto there with the nut, and then just basically push it all back together, and that, that should be it. Because uh, as I say, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with any of that. That hasn't broken, it was this this unit itself that actually broke. So I'll just try and do that now. So they supply the screws and they come with Loctite already on them. There you go. So that just screwed on, and then it simply just pushes back in, and then the, the cover plate, this locking, this locking plate will just go over the top. Um, and that's basically how it will go. So the locking plate goes up on the top there and just pushes on, but I'm not gonna do any of that just yet until I'm happy that that is gonna move. I don't really put it in and out of gear when it's stopped. Because I think that's what broke it last time. Oh, it's gone, yeah. Okay, so it's in neutral now. I need to put the pin in the top, otherwise the cable can pop off. So that's the next job. But I think we have to actually take all of this off. All of this off the top here to get to that. So when you take the instrument sort of cluster or the top of this part off, um, obviously there's a bit of tidying up in terms of wiring to do here, but it's not in too bad shape really. Um, but what you can see is then you can get to the top of this. And with a bit of luck, you should be able to see there that's where the, that little pin needs to go so i'll put that pin back in and then that's see can you see you just see that moving that's the gear so that's going into reverse i'm not going to go the other way because it's pretty tight and um, i'm not sure whether you're supposed to move that while it's while it's in while it's not running and i think that's probably one of the, the reasons that um i mean probably his age but i don't think it helped that i tried to put it into reverse to fold the prop I, I i don't normally do that i don't know why i did but i did so um yeah so i'm gonna pop the pin into that <clears throat> and just bend that over and then that should be everything so here's the small pin so, so this nut in here is a 17 mil so i will rip that off
simply pulls off and then what we'll do is we'll put it says in the kit to actually put one of the um, the plastic spacers behind the back big enough either. No, it's not. Okay, so on this bit then it must just be this neoprene washer. Oh, it just squidges in place. So the manual talks about putting this, this skid washer, which it doesn't really, there's two plastic ones, two neoprene ones, and then there's this soft white one, um, but none of those fit there, so I'm just going to go with the neoprene washer. I mean, it's bolted in anyway, so it's not like it's doing any of that. Uh, that's fine. I'm just going to check that that is in the right place. I'm going to start the boat up. Just make sure we've got gear before I do anything else, because next, it's the plunger. So the plunger just sits in the middle of there. Feels really tight. Can you just film it from the inside? Back into the inside. Just doesn't feel great. If you watch at the bottom, watch the throttle linkage. Watch. So reverse. It's very, very stiff. So that's reverse, and then you can see the throttle comes around that side exactly as it should do. Back into neutral. That feels okay. Into forwards. And then it's tight, 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 really tight, and then it starts to come forward. I don't think it really should be like that. I don't really know why it's so tight. It feels like it's tight in here. But I'm not 100% happy with this yet. This has gone very stiff. To put to revs on um, and when you go into forwards there seems to be a long time between actually getting the gear and then it lifting the um, the throttle cable up so I'm not quite sure I think maybe need to just take this unit out and service it I don't know whether you can take the cap off and have a look inside maybe that just needs sort of greasing up I don't know but I'm not 100% happy with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for now because obviously we're still in Chichester um, and we want to make it make it back. Um, I can definitely get gears and get it reversed dead easy. So it could be the fact that maybe going into forward, maybe the linkage, the gear linkage is too long. I need to shorten that down slightly. Maybe need to do that on the engine side because there doesn't seem to be a lot of room in here. Um, but I think I need to have another look at that. I'm not not 100% with that yet. So we'll see what happens. But basically, I haven't stuck this back on. I've just pushed the plunger that tries to escape back in, 
and um, put the old cap back on and when we're ready and we're happy with that then we'll glue this one back i'm going to clean that one up and glue because there's nothing wrong with this one and keep the other one as a spare spare plunger spare cap um, but i've replaced this that just simply bolts on dead easy um, but yeah not 100 happy with that yet so it's a day of many jobs today so while the oil's just straightened out um if you remember a little while ago we had a problem with our gears our gear linkage now what I've done, so this is at the gear linkage on the back of the sail drive, and that is in our neutral position. And you can see where this was being pulled. This was being pulled all the way back to almost there, so almost forward. So I think that's why it's so hard now to push it forward. I mean, it will go right the way back, but I don't think it's supposed to do that. I think that's probably a little bit excessive. So I think what I'm going to do is undo this and just adjust that. So if I just stop the video there for a second, you can't adjust it at these two pins at the back. That simply holds the cable in place. What you need to do is adjust it at the top end here where you can see the small nut and the brass pin. You have to do that on both ends if you need a lot of adjustment and that's what I had to do. So this is just simply a pin in the top of this. Nothing, um, nothing complicated. It's just here, look. So it's a washer with a pin in the top. I just pulled that out to line that naturally up there, connect it all back up, tighten it all up, and hopefully that also fixes our gear linkage, uh, throttle linkage issue. So what I'll have to do, because you can't adjust it like that, that's actually holding the outer part of the cable here. I was hoping that I could just pull that a little bit for, for, further forwards um, and, and adjust it that way, but I actually can't. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to wind this on here a little bit and see if I can, that's quite a lot to try and gain there. And I'll do the same at the other end, try and wind that forwards a little bit to give us a little bit extra cable because that is just, I think that's a bit too tight. That's, I mean, it's almost in gear. Um, and really it should be sitting, that, that should be its movement. That should be the amount of play, I would imagine, in that. I repeated the process on both sides and managed to get the sail drive to sit exactly in neutral when the throttle lever was sitting in neutral. It did mean that I had to wind out both to their absolute maximum, but it is sitting much better and everything now is operating freely. So this also wasn't um, working very well, but now actually that everything's lined back up, when you, when you press that in, that's actually popping back out. So it's obviously sitting back in the right place. That's good. That's, uh, again, <laughs> always, they always fire out. Um, but yeah, you can just see that obviously that that is returning back to its its correct position. So I've just sat and cleaned up the uh, the old one of these. I'm just gonna apply the glue and then we'll pop that back in there. And that's another job off the list. This is the adjuster actually just before I close down the video. This behind this little cap here, if you take that off, up that's the adjuster so if if you need to put more friction on this when um you know you're in gear and you find that the lever is very sort of loose i mean mine isn't at all i don't know why you would need to adjust it but but if you are finding that that's where the adjustment is and as i say you can take this unit out but i don't think it's serviceable at all so we'll see how we go with that now it's 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 10 times better than what it was because it was just it was really stiff so it feels a lot better now so i'll glue this in and that's it